Hello, and welcome back to Pickleball Guys. My name is Fred, and in this video, I'm gonna cover our top five pickleball paddles with the most power potential. As with any other list where we rank products that we carry, we're gonna remain unbiased and give you an honest review of which paddles we found to give the most power when striking a pickleball. Now, before we dive into it, if you like these kinds of videos, please do us a huge favor and like this video. Let us know in the comments what your opinions are, or if you think there are other paddles that should be on this list. And of course, please subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our pickleball content. Power paddles are ideal for players who are more experienced and have developed a good feel for the game. But they can also be ideal for players who may have either shorter swings or softer swings and may want some more pop behind their shots. Power is obviously desirable when you're attacking the ball because you don't want to give your opponent time to react or retrieve your shot. The majority of your power will be determined by your swing speed, which is factored by the length of your swing and acceleration of the paddle through the ball. But the type of paddle you're using can certainly have an impact on the energy returned to the ball, which is also a factor in determining power. Thinner paddles tend to absorb less energy from the ball than thicker paddles, and therefore the ball rebounds with more energy and the speed off of the thin core paddles. Paddle shape, maneuverability, and aerodynamics can also play a role in helping increase swing speed, so we'll also be taking this into account when we make our top five list. So without further ado, here are Pickleball Guy's top five pickleball paddles with the most power. Let's get into it. Starting this list at number five, we've chosen the Head Extreme Tour Max. Head came out with the Extreme series, and they market them as control paddles, even though they are 11 millimeters thick, while their Radical series of paddles are marketed as power paddles, when those are 15 millimeters thick. Now I can confidently tell you that they probably have it backwards, but both series of paddles do provide elements of each. Now the Extreme Tour Max is a polymer honeycomb paddle with a carbon fiber surface and is the heavyweight of the Extreme series, weighing in at 8.1 ounces. The unique diamond shape that the Extreme paddles have make them very maneuverable through the air, adding to increased swing speed potential, but also help bring the sweet spot lower to the ground when having to scrape balls that are close to the ground. It has a paddle length of 16 inches, a paddle width of 7.87 inches, a handle length of 5 inches, and a slim grip size of 4 and 1 of an inch. It has lots of pop and rebound, and when using it to attack, it has devastating power. I think Head should definitely be marketing these as a power paddle. At number 4, we've chosen the Electrum Pro 2. This paddle weighs between 7.9 and 8.4 ounces has a paddle length of 16 inches, a paddle width of 8 inches, a handle length of 5.25 inches, and a standard grip size of 4 and a quarter inch. The main difference between the Pro 2 and the original Electrum Pro is the handle length, which is longer on the Pro 2, allowing for more spin capability and power potential, as well as accommodating for any two-handed backhand players out there. And the length of the paddle face is also extended on the Pro 2 by about half an inch. Other than that, the Pro 2 remains fairly similar to the Pro model, sharing the same core thickness of 11 millimeters and having a gritty raw carbon fiber surface to help grip the ball on your shots. It's a power player's paddle, being very maneuverable through the air, similar to the way a Eula Scorpius paddle might feel, except that it's much more powerful. It's very tempting to continuously attack the ball and attempt to overwhelm your opponents with fast play using this paddle, but it's not really ideal for beginner players. Like most power paddles, will be recommended for experienced players who've already developed some good touch and feel. Breaking into our top three on this list, we've chosen ProConnex Black Ace XF. When ProConnex introduced their Black Ace series to the market, they updated some of their well-known paddle shapes, such as the Wide Body Pro and Round Shaped Ovation to include a raw carbon fiber surface for enhanced spin capabilities, a slightly longer handle length than their Speed and Flight series of paddles, and also a slimmer core thickness of 10 millimeters making the Black Ace series the most powerful ProConnex paddles. They also introduced a new elongated shape called the XF, which I've been told means extra face, but may as well mean extra force, because this one really packs a punch. Weighing at 7.9 ounces, with a paddle width of 7.5 inches, a paddle length of 16.4 inches, and a handle length of 5.1 inches, the Black Ace XF delivers some of the most arm-friendly power available thanks to ProConnex kinetic energy technology that they are so famous for. With micro tungsten beads embedded within the chambers around the perimeter of the paddle and within the handle, which are now visible through the end cap of the paddles, these paddles are enhanced with this extra layer of filtration of shock, torque, and vibration. So the power coming from these paddles are effortless. The XF is definitely the most powerful paddle within the Black Ace series. 
However, we should give a special mention to the LG DLR, which is essentially the same paddle with a flashy white cosmetic and a longer grip of 5.8 inches. It's the signature paddle of professional player Daniel De La Rosa. At number two, we've chosen Selkirk's Vanguard Power Air Invicta paddle. Selkirk introduced the Power Air series back in the summer of 2022, and these paddles immediately caught players' attention and became highly in demand due to their unique design of having an aerodynamic cutout in the throat of the paddle face. This causes the paddle to have an increased maneuverability while also condensing the sweet spot, making it even more reactive and powerful than any other polymer core paddle out there. Selkirk introduced the Power Air series in their three most popular shapes, the two wide body shapes in the S2 and the Epic with a slightly longer handle than the S2, and also the Invicta, which has an elongated shape. Naturally, the Invicta's elongated shape will allow for more power and spin potential, but also requires more precision when striking the ball within the sweet spot. Considering how condensed the sweet spot is on this paddle due to the addition of the cutout in the throat, these are definitely geared towards more experienced players with good hand-eye coordination. Weighing approximately eight ounces, the Vanguard Power Air Invicta has a core thickness of 12.7 millimeters, a paddle width of 7.375 inches, a paddle length of 16.5 inches, and a handle length of 5.25 inches. The surface is comprised of a hybrid composite with a textured grip paint, making it even more reactive and spin friendly. All in all, this paddle is very impressive and delivers the most power of any polymer core paddle. But for number one, we need to explore outside the realm of polymer cores. So our top choice of paddles with the most power, at number one, we've chosen Gearbox CX11E 8.5 ounce power paddle. Honestly, we could have made this list almost exclusively out of Gearbox CX series paddles, since they're all so powerful. However, we wanted to diversify the list to include some of the most powerful polymer core paddles as well. When Gearbox launched their CX series, they introduced their own patented solid span technology, which is a proprietary molding process using high strength carbon fiber materials to form a ribbed core one piece paddle construction. Unlike other paddles, which are traditionally manufactured with polymer honeycomb cores, the solid span technology carbon fiber cores of these paddles provide a much more reactive and durable structure that is capable of producing some serious power. The CX series paddles also feature 3K woven carbon fiber on the surface and perimeter of the paddles, giving them a larger sweet spot, added torsion control and great spin capabilities, and also vibration dampening. The CX series features two core thicknesses with the CX11 and CX14 being 11 millimeters and 14 millimeters respectively. Both models come in an elongated shape as well as a wide body shape. The wide body for the CX-11 is known as the quad, while the wide body for the CX-14 is known as the hyper, and is slightly longer than the quad, but has the exact same width. The CX-11 series came out with two more variants for both the quad and elongated shapes, known as the power and control. And they also made two weight variants for each of them. The mid-weight paddles weigh 7.8 ounces, while the heavyweight paddles weigh 8.5 ounces. The difference between the power and control versions of the CX-11 is determined by the way the solid span technology is applied to the paddle's internal composition within the sweet spot. The control option is designed to absorb more energy from the ball and rebound off the face slightly slower, while the power option is designed to return energy to the ball and rebound slightly faster off the face. And we've chosen the CX11E Power in the 8.5 ounce variant for the top spot since it has an elongated shape and more weight for the most power potential. And it certainly does have the most power out of any other paddle we've tested. Another unique feature about Gearbox's CX series of paddles is that they offer two small grip sizes for each model, a 3 and 5 eighths of an inch and a 3 15 sixteenths of an inch grip size, which I wish was rounded to four inches simply because it's a mouthful to say out loud. But what's nice about having these smaller grip sizes is that they're user friendly for basically anyone. You can always make a grip larger by adding an overgrip, but you can't make a grip smaller. All of these paddles have great maneuverability with their gritty surface combined with an elongated shape of the CX11E, they're great for producing spin as well. If you're looking for power, the CX series of paddles are at the top of our list with the CX11E Power 8.5 inch paddle being the most powerful of all. Thank you for watching and again please let us know in the comments if you think we missed anything. This list is based on paddles that we currently carry as of the making of this video. Feel free to ask us any pickleball related questions or simply let us know what your top five pickleball paddles with the most power would be. 
If you want to pick up one or more of these paddles, you'll find them available here at pickleballguys.ca. Come check us out.